Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and the December update is finally out for the Pixel devices. This is the security update that comes out once a month lately and this is my Pixel 3 XL. Now we'll take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about all of the improvements across all of the different Pixel lines with this update. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build number. You'll see the build number is PQ1A.181205.006. And in this build, there's been a lot of little bug fixes that I've been waiting for before I do the review of the Pixel 3 XL. Now, this one was sent to me by Google in not pink, so I could check it out. And they were nice enough to send this to me. And this particular build really focuses on all the bugs that this thing has had for quite some time. And the first thing is improved memory management. The memory management on the Pixel 3 XL was terrible, but this carries across the Pixel 2 all the way to the 3XL. And you'll see if I go between these different apps, what would happen is I'd have some open and then they'd have to reload over and over and over. And they seem to be working just fine now. So if I go between different apps, they're staying open and not reloading. And it's really nice to see that as simple as that is, it seems like they've fixed it so far. The next group of fixes has to do with the camera capture performance. So on the Pixel 2s and newer, the camera capture performance seems to be much faster if we snap a couple pictures there, maybe bring in the case that I have back here. It seems to be uh, nice and fast when we're snapping pictures. And that is for the Pixel 2 and newer. And then they've also improved autofocus on the Pixel 3. So the autofocus seems nice and fast and smooth. Uh, I can't say whether or not it's much different. I always thought it was pretty good, but apparently they've improved it a little bit more and the shutter speed as well on the Pixel 3 and 3XL. The next thing they've improved has to do with the notifications. So if you have a Pixel stand and you put a 3 or 3XL on the Pixel stand, the visibility of those notifications has improved on the stand. Also, they've improved hot word performance when using the Pixel stand. So if you're talking to Google, it should recognize you a little bit better this time around. Now also with this always on display, they've also improved the actual display triggering what turns this on. So it should be a little bit better. I don't know if that improves battery or anything. They don't mention any fixes for battery either. Now there's also improved USB audio accessory detection on the Pixel 3 XL only. So if you're using USB audio in the Pixel 3 XL, uh, this should be picking that up better if it wasn't before. So hopefully it fixes that sort of thing. And then if you're using Android Auto, Android Auto compatibility has been improved for the Pixel 2 and 3s, and also the audio performance of Android Auto on the Pixel 3 and 3 XL should be better as well. So some of those cars I know weren't working well with the Pixel 3 XL, it should be improved this time around. Now, if you're using Bluetooth unlocking with the Bluetooth feature, this has been improved as far as the performance on all pixels, so it should be a little bit better. Also, if you've got a connected Bluetooth device, the actual behavior when toggling Bluetooth is a little bit different. So turn it on and off. It doesn't really look any different there. Let me get my Pixel Buds. We'll bring in the Pixel Buds here and must have hit that. Let's see what happens here. These should work. There we go. Pixel Buds, 100% battery triggering. Everything looks about the same to me, but there's a little bit of improvements there and changes as well, improved Bluetooth and adjusted volume behavior. Now, the other thing too is HDR contouring on certain media apps. Now, they don't say which apps they've improved this with on the Pixel 3 and 3 XL for HDR video viewing. They just say they've improved it. So I'm not sure exactly what that means or specifically what they're talking about, whether that's Netflix or YouTube or one of those, just HDR contouring should be better. And then the final thing that they've talked about improving is, or really haven't talked about, is a sounds app. And the sounds app here, you'll see it looks a little bit different. And if we go down, Pixel Sounds just for you. So if we take a little bit closer look at this, you'll see they updated it on the third. And then also, it just looks a little bit different. So let's see if we can go in, there we go. Go into custom visuals for each sound choose ringtones, notifications and alarms, exclusive collections. And I haven't been able to get into this yet, but it's there, I just don't see it. So this should be turning on soon. I wasn't able to find it anywhere in here uh, or within settings. So I'll keep looking for that and maybe I'll be able to use it. But that's it, 
it's a nice little update that should fix a lot of the problems that I was having with the Pixel 3 XL, so I'll be able to review it and see what it's like. Now, if you'd like me to cover all the updates on the Pixel devices, let me know in the comments below. I don't generally cover them. Sometimes I cover the betas when there's a new version out, but let me know your thoughts about that. If you'd like to see more coverage on the monthly updates for the Pixel, along with all the update videos I do on other devices as well. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. Oh, and this wallpaper will be linked in the description as well. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.